guys, what's up and welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Guys, today we have minus 21 degrees overboard over here. As you can see, it's minus 21. And I have easiest immigration program for you. Like, the easiest one to get your permanent residency. Now, before I guys tell you the name of the program, I want to tell you that this program might not work for every one of you guys. The reason for that is it might be something that, well, you're overqualified for. It might be something that, you know, you don't want to do that. And that's exactly the reason why this program exists here in Canada. So, in terms of eligibility, it is the easiest. In terms of doing it, you know, some people might not like it and it might be quite hard way to get your PR, but for those of you guys who uh, CRS score is too low, you don't want to spend money for your English test so a lot, you don't want to be spending money being an international student and you're desperate and you just want to get to Canada, that might be the best option out there. Now I'm talking CLB5, which is IOTS4 and IOTS, like it goes up to up to, up to IOTS 3.5 at some brackets so it is really low and it's really easy to get if you're watching this channel you probably already have higher score than that so it's easy now in terms of permanent residency you can literally apply as soon as you are applying to come here and it's a pathway it's one of those immigration pilots guys so it's an immigration pilot program there is there to replace an older pilot program that was criticized a lot by Canadians, by immigrants, by everyone out there. Do you remember a program that was cancelled, Leave In Caregivers? How many people were complaining about that program? That, you know, families were taking advantage of those workers and you were tied up to one family and you couldn't go anywhere. You needed to get labor market impact assessment. It was complicated. Well, they started a new pilot on June 2019. Actually, two pilots for home support workers and care leaving caregivers. Guy, not leaving caregivers, but home support workers and ch child and child care stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is the program, guys. It is easiest because you just need to get a job offer from a family and they don't need to pay a lot of money. Right now, this kind of occupation, those NOC codes here in Alberta are making closer to, well, 15 bucks an hour. And they don't need to ask the labor market here finding out, well, do you need LMEA spending $1,000 and then not guaranteeing you're getting it? Now the program is exempt from LMEA. So you don't need to do that. All you need is to get a job offer for a job that Canadians don't want to do. It is by far one of the most favorite programs that I know. A lot of people from Philippines use it to come to Canada. Like it's really popular among those guys. I don't know why, but that's what I heard from them. And once they get their permanent residency through that kind of program, they open their businesses. They go for some better paying jobs, more qualified jobs. The hardship of this program is that, you know, taking care, for example, of elderly person, you know, bathing that person, you know, taking the, you know, salmon, you know, like a, a, basically for analysis and for the, you know, for the people with disabilities. Some of you might say, well, it's a disgusting thing. I don't want to be doing it. And that's exactly the reason why the program exists. You do that, having, uh, help, have, helping senior people or taking care of the children for two years and you can apply for PR. So there are three ways you can apply for PR through this program. And this is like, uh, first thing is you can apply right away when you're applying for your work permit. The best part about this program that your spouse that is going to be accompanying you to Canada, you can bring your children to Canada they can study in Canada. They can come here as visitors or they can come with study permits to study while you're working. Your spouse gets an open work permit and can do any kinds of jobs here in Canada. So this is insane program. It's really good. So one of you gets this kind of job that you know you might not be liking to do and the other person gets an open work permit, can go work to any kind of businesses and whatever they want to do in Canada, they can work. 
and you can apply for PR as soon as you apply for your work permit. And after two years of experience, work experience, and the best part about this work experience that you're not tied up to one employer anymore, like it used to be in the past. So you go to work for Uncle Joe, and Uncle Joe is a douchebag. You don't want to work for Uncle Joe anymore. And Uncle Joe is like, well, I brought you to Canada and you cannot leave me because you're going to lose your work permit. You're not going to get your dream done, so you better you know, work harder and listen to my stuff. But you're, you don't have to deal with that BS anymore because you can quit and you can get another family. You can go work for somebody else because your work permit is now going to be occupation locked. So you can work for the same occupation for multiple families. You can quit, you can change your workplaces. Nobody can take advantage of you anymore. And if they do, well, you can go to human rights complaint, you can do a lot of things, and uh, you know, you can get those people into a lot of trouble. Make sure nobody ever takes advantage of you. If you're an immigrant, you still have all the rights that Canadians have and never be feeling that way. And that's the reason why they changed that program in such a way to give more freedoms for people. You can have, you can work five hours for, for Jessica's family, you can work five hours for Joe's family, and then you can work 20 hours a week for somebody else. And all together it compiles into 30 hours a week, which is a full-time work experience, and that's what you need to get qualified to immigrate to Canada through this program, to get your permanent residency done. So basically what you do is you work for two years doing this kind of work that Canadians want to be doing, and uh, it's LME ex exempt, you don't need much English, so for example, if you are, you don't know much English, you are not fluent in it, you are able to score that score, you can get a job in the family from your own community, like you can go into some rich Russian speaking family, if you speak Russian, you can go into Latina family and help out with their senior person, you don't even need that language much, English, so it's really easy, you don't even have to speak English much, uh, so you just need to that minimum score for LTS to be qualified, you get, while in Canada, you improve your English, you improve your scores you get you you know you become eligible for permanent residency you get your experience done and then you apply for PR you get your permanent residency you quit you do whatever you want you can work same jobs you can work different jobs you can get some more studying you can become you know get some licensing to become a nurse and you can start working in Canada making good money and you don't have to do that anymore. You didn't have to get so much of English. You don't have to show as much of money. And this program is just amazing, guys, for everyone. And your spouse, your family is here with you. So this is the easiest way, the easiest program to get PR. It's not for everyone. And you might argue saying that it's not easy because, well, I have to, like, you know, I have to bathe an elderly person that with disabilities, oh, thank you so much, there's some pedestrian stop for me, and you are saying that's easy, like, who wants to do that kind of garbage jobs? Well, guys, my job is to help you out. I found a program, I found a pilot, uh, lots of people are using it to get their PR in Canada. It works great, it is easier, and, well, if it doesn't work for you, maybe you can go for something more complicated like uh, an expensive program where you need a lot of English become an international student get admitted to a college or university get your program done get your immigration done this way and if you have a good English you have good experience and everything uh, you can go through express entry if you know French you can get like extra 50 points on a express entry right now in addition so if you're francophone you get more points now for being a francophone guys Oh my goodness, am I going to get stuck right now? Oh my God, guys. Anyways, so this is the program I have for you today. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out if you are interested in this kind of thing. And let me know in the comments down below. Would you consider doing something like that? Are you willing to like, you know, do something as this work, something that is, you know, living for a, working for a family, for a minimum wage job, you know, dealing with this kind of stuff, dealing with all the BS of this kind of responsibility of the job for two years, but getting your dream done and getting something really good after those two years here in Canada? Are you willing to do something like that? Are you willing to take this kind of sacrifice? Or are you experiencing it and you're fine with it and you, it's not a sacrifice for you at all? Are you willing to take, do what it takes to come to Canada and go through this kind of immigration programs? Let me know in the comments down below, guys.